What up, business John? It's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness to change your monitor settings, yes, I am black or I'm playing a dirt bike game. Now, Jet Lawrence was happy enough, yes, the champion was happy enough to give us his bike setup, his OP Honda 450 new OEM setup. I'm just joshing. Yeah, but this right here is a setup that is for the Honda 450 new OEM. Hopefully, you guys like it. I wanted to show you it in a race aspect and just instead of just riding around and showing you little tips and tricks and I think Washington is the best because it has turning it has hills and it has sand a little bit to jump in and it's got some big booters eh, not the best big booters but yeah go ahead and hit that like button subscribe button I'm gonna trickle in the setup as we ride that way you don't have to stay the whole video if you don't want to but if, you, if it did help you out man hit a like button hit a subscribe we're almost a 2, 2k subs man almost a 1900 so Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'm just going to show you what this Honda 450 is all about. But yeah, thank you guys so much, and uh, I've honestly been loving it. I wish I had a couple people uh, in here to kind of just tell you how this bike actually rides, because I promise you, man, they would tell you the exact same thing, that this Honda 450 is absolutely juiced. It's cooked. It's bacon. Butter. Butter Rooney. Shout out to him, dude, on that y a Yamaha. That, that, that Yamaha is still goaded, man. OP. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you guys that this thing can compete with other bikes and it has a really good consistency So um, and I know a lot of you guys been uh, having trouble turning and all that But if you guys haven't seen my short yet, um, I did come out with a short I just didn't think a video was needed um, A full video, but it shows you how to, it shows you like the exact turn settings so you can turn the bike um, I enjoy that you have to slow down in there. And you can't hit Mach 10 through there. That is absolutely awesome But yeah uh, my my short thing shows exactly how you can turn um, and an easy peasy. Now this is what I wanted to test, right? Bang, easy dude, planted. Come on now. But yeah, those settings right there for turning is gonna help you. And then obviously you know you just mess with your rod length and all that. But this setup right now, I did turn down the the braking from 20 mm to like 18 or 16. Only reason is because for combined brakes now, if you're gonna press all that, dude, you're literally gonna go like you're literally gonna go over the handlebars up front. So. Uh, you might have to mess with it a little bit, see if you like it. You might, you might be like, yeah, I can actually do 20 mm, but since I mean 20 mm braking, but since I have a, uh, since I have hair triggers, I can't do that, and it's just gonna send me over full power over the, over the handlebars, and I've already, I've already experienced that in the last two days, but yeah, um, I do apologize. This is low SR, and there's no contact. I did want to do a contact server of uh, showing you the bike, but I couldn't. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is perfect. There's a lot of stuff you can sh you can show the heel the like the hills show the sand the turning this is like the perfect stock track to show you like a setup for racing because it kind of gives you everything in this and I did put it on sand as well I mean I won't show it in here but uh, I have been running sand on this track on this bike and it, it full power man full power consistency so and that's what you're all look that's what you're looking for in a bike you're looking for speed but you're also looking for consistency you know and i feel like it has everything you know you can obviously mess with the gearing to what you're liking and everything but um we also i think yesterday they came out with a new track rotation for poor boy for, for poor boys and uh fort red on e on the papiti servers dude ran that yesterday was rocking rolling rocking and rolling with this freaking bike um i would say for the most part it's pretty good in a as a supercross setup i won't lie to you as a supercross setup this this bike is clean uh, as it is but i know you guys out there that are better at supercross might be able to tweak it and be like yeah this is probably better for a softer or tighter suspension um but for the most part on fort red dude i was rocking and rolling man so w shout out to everybody man shout out to weto racing shout out to esr mtn and if you guys have not yet joined my discord my official discord um every Every setup that I make or so, I will post. start posting in my um, Discord after the video is out. That way you guys can always go back and just grab it from there. Or if you want to watch it, at least the video. But yeah, join my Discord, man. Uh, that's the official IBS Kelso Discord. And we're just rocking and rolling. So hopefully by this time, I've already gave you the whole setup. And this is kind of just extra. Kind of showing you that if you guys want to see actually really... If it's rider air or if it's the bike. And I'm, I'm, I'm pushing it to the best of my limits kind of kind of like trying to show a little bit i mean i already have my line choices ready and this is this is everything but uh, for the most part what i do enjoy yeah there we go i wanted to show you that you know you you mess up you can't fall and you can get not only 360 and real flips but <laughs> yeah you, you know you're still rider air and there's a lot of things that can happen with the bike so you know it's just i wanted to show you in a race aspect if you push too hard and if you're pushing outside of your limits 
you know, th things can happen and it will occur. But for the most part, this thing's busting. And what I also like, what what the new OEMs cater to, which is amazing, is uh oh look at that, look at that. That is what I wanted to see, man. Literally come from the spaghetti hands and be able to like bounce back from that. But um, they cater to uh, spinning out. You remember before the OEMs would like spin out the back tire and then it wouldn't create traction no more. You could literally can hold that down. It's gonna spin out, but it's gonna redirect itself back to the direction you're going, which is an absolute W. So if you guys haven't tried that, check that out. But yeah, look at that. Just turn it. You can't go Mach 10 no more. Um, you possibly can even do better than me in that, John. But for the most part, that's easy peasy to me, dude. And there goes a little front tuck. Now, I've also seen that the OEMs are a little bit more, um, you know, lenient on front tucks now because before front tucks, you're going down automatic. You're not saving it. And uh, now you get a little front tuck, you can possibly save it pretty quick, you know? So it's pretty awesome. And I can honestly rail that now in third. Before I wasn't able to rail that, um, being at full throttle, I would have to go down to second. If not, I would spin me out. So W to this. And then I, man, Washington's a fan favorite, dude. I was thinking about, I think club was before this, and I was thinking about putting it on club and uh having that bad boy go crazy you know but it's, i felt like it was just too quick too quick of a of a demonstration and uh too too flat and too easy so i thought you know what's better than washington having some great hills and all that's perfect to show the bike off and as you can see the the braking system's perfect easy peasy now i will say for the new oems as well you need to you need to change gears a lot now um from like first second third fourth um, just cause like it's a different power and also going through corners and stuff and it's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I, I actually have been enjoying it and uh, since my daddy has been up, I did buy my own daddy. So if you guys ever pop into a stream, we have our own daddy. Uh, I will be back on the rank grind here soon. I just been enjoying that and it's been fun. I don't want to let the money go to waste that I just bought a daddy and I don't even play in it. So, um, but every night dude, we've been filling it up literally full. So if you guys haven't checked one of those streams out yet, man, be sure to head over there and yeah but look at this dude absolutely amazing look look you see how it see how it spun out but it redirected itself back forward that is amazing dude so oh man guy's going crazy in here hopefully he doesn't well actually never mind there's no contact there so uh yeah <laughs> i don't i don't know man just i i'm coming up on 500 hours as well um i'm gonna be coming out with another setup and i'll be coming out with the honda 250 setup i have on that bike already uh it's really great i came out with a short with it it was freaking amazing really great starts so yeah i think my 500 hour video uh, i'm not gonna do any like just i'm gonna for sure do like a papiti race um a tfc maybe track and maybe some supercross but i just want to show you my progression within 500 hours and where i, I stand but i don't want to i don't want to do the i, I just don't want to show you i want to do like all races i want to do a race in papiti i want to do a race in tfc and or jv track and i also want to do a race in there just to show you where i actually stand and all of that because i feel like if i just show you like oh well here's papiti like here's me riding a stock track or here's me riding jv or something like that you guys you guys are like eh, you know whatever okay cool you can ride the track but i want to see you in a race you know i feel like everybody's here for more of the race aspect um and having fun you know so Stay tuned for that. I think it's going to be amazing. Really great video. I'm excited to make it. I think I'm like 15 hours off or something like that. So possibly be here for the weekend. Yeah, because uh, we're for sure going to make it. So um, I'm excited for that. And easy peasy as we continue. Is this last lap yet? Where I think last lap's coming up. But I enjoy that the EU or low SR is only four laps. Look at that. Third gear pushing a little forward. Still pops up, put, pushes up on you, but you don't get any bad wiggles man that's awesome i love that but i love that papiti or eu papiti is only four laps instead of five that really helps when you have to ra race winchester that worst map dude oh my god i thought they were gonna like at least take that map out but they didn't <gasps> all right p all right boom boom couldn't make that one that's okay just gotta slow it down just a little bit more i like that see that, that, like I said, man, that, that is something I love. You can't go Mach 10 in there no more, like, to where you can complete all that. You just, you have to be careful, man. You got to be careful on it. I do love sending this into the sand and how planted you feel. Like, that is amazing. Didn't have to sit down that once. Oh, man, that was awesome. Now, let me tell you that. Look at that. Easy peasy. Wow. Just giving you guys extra bonus here, man, seeing the race, race style. I don't know how far ahead I am. 
I've seen Hank the Tank YouTube uh, before. I think he came in through one of my daddies before. Shout out to that guy if you're watching this, Hank the Tanky. Um, also, a guy that's been wanting me to shout him out this whole time. Oh, that was the last race. Guy that's been wanting me to shout him out this whole time, dude. Shout out to Jono. Jono, if you literally made it to the end of this video, I've done your shout out. Shout out to Jono, man. Also, man, that's the Honda 450. Shout out to Jet for giving it to us. <laughs> Other than that, thank you guys so much, bro. It's your boy, IBS Kelso, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this setup as much as I did. So, pop, 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 peace.